Hey everyone, in this war, it's just a match of pink unicorns against the faction Reaper. Diablo, shout out to you. I told you we'd be meeting on the battlefield, so I hope you got a good hit in against me. I'm not exactly sure if you did or didn't, but if you do have any film, I would also love to see it. And that goes for anyone who wants to show me any film that they have. I'm always open to it. You can reach out to me online at Linkasus, so L-I-N-K-E-S-U-S, -S, with a period at the end. Um, I'm also on Discord. I'm on Instagram. I'm on a variety of different things, including my own Facebook page at the moment or a Facebook group. And that's just to help make it easier for me to answer questions and stuff from all of you guys. You can find that by looking up the Walking Dead Road to Survival link, like L-I-N-K at the end, just for simplicity's sake. Anyway, I'll talk a bit about some of these matches now moving forward. Um, as you saw, Pete was just able to heal, and that's because of a red healing weapon, which is pretty useful. I've been seeing a lot of healing weapons in this war so far, and I'm only about three matches in. Um, I find that they've been quite effective, like even the regain HP for every 10% of AP that you have, or 20% of AP that you have, it's been pretty interesting actually. It's making some tunes like Frost, for example, very tanky. Like the latest Frost that I just faced, he was regaining HP for every debuff on him, and because he's a very tanky tune and I'm using a team, as you see here, I have the ability to stun, impair, confuse, defense down if I'm using Diego, uh, taunt, so there's just a lot of options there, which also mean that Frost is regaining more HP every turn. So you just have to be careful with some of your combinations and sometimes wait it out almost in order to fully rush a team with everything that you have. In a lot of my matches, I'm really just doing manual on the first turn and then sometimes I'm using auto on the second turn just because I'm setting up my Priya as well as my Princess usually on the first turn to rush on the second turn and sometimes I will end up commanding Princess so that I use her active skill after as well just as a way to kind of like clean up the mess after. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't always work because in this case, Princess had a taunt resist and wasn't stunned. So I ended up losing two of my tunes. Now, luckily I don't have my Priya and Princess in a line. Otherwise I would have lost both damage dealers and I would have had to rely on Mercer mainly. So I got a little lucky with a follow up there where the three tunes that I had left, two of them were damage dealers, and the other one could give my other tunes AP uh, whenever he's attacked. So I was pretty lucky on that note. Um, I'm really finding bleed teams to be underwhelming on defense, especially with a Relito lead. I just don't find that they can kill S-classes fast enough anymore. And I find that they're easy to control for the most part because most of the lacerators that do exist don't have a lot of control involved with them. Dayu, she can at least have a stun on attack weapon and she's an S-class character. Um, when we get to Martinez, he has an active confuse, but all the other like lacerating tunes I just find to be a little underwhelming if you're using them on a defensive team. So now I'm kind of just waiting on the timer because um, the first camp is completely destroyed and I need to just wait until I can hit again. So currently in second, but hoping to claim that first place war can, waiting on the timer again, using a can, and for this team, you know, whenever you go in with a Mercer lead, you're not exactly sure what the outcome will be. I'm finding Dr. Stevens to be an amazing addition to my team. Um, I really should have watched out for Rolito just because of his impair upon attack. Um, that can be devastating to my team in some cases if I end up having like one of my tunes like Princess impaired, but even at that, I would still have her active normalized skill. If Priya ends up impaired, I do have an attack up when impaired mod on her, just because of the blue heavy meta on defense. I do expect to see more yellow tunes because of the yellow tower. And in this current match right here, I wish that I'd taken a bit more care because I was a little careless. And because of that carelessness, I allowed Pete to rush by Pete rushing, he brought back both Xander and Rolito, and Xander was able to give Pete 100% AP again. I got lucky on a stun, but this attack ended up going on a lot longer than what it actually should have, just because I was careless. If I had taken the time to actually like trigger my attacks on the appropriate tunes, it would have been done a lot faster. 
and this last attack is going to be against Diablo. Sorry, Diablo, my friend, but uh, your team needs to go down and fast. By sending your whole team to start, it set me up for a nice turn two rush, and I could just auto it at the very end in order to take out your Aaron, who was surprisingly tanky. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and listening to my first of several war videos for this weekend.